Hello, beautiful people. I am doing my 79th video. And today's video will be on the beautiful Oshun. I am Lady Calamir and I welcome you to my channel. Oshun, who is she? She is one of the Orishas of the Yoruba Pantheon from Nigeria. Her warship was brought to the New World during the horrible transatlantic slave trade. A very sorry time in our history. Very sad. However, the people did not want to give her up. Who can blame them? Oshun, her name means source. And this source has different meanings. It, of course, it's the source of the river of sweet waters, but a source of the people, but also a source from which all life can live and spring from. A source that is important for all humans for one of the import, most important nutrient we need is water. Water is life. Yes, air is very important. It's the most important, but without, you know, other than that, without water, <laughs> we're doomed. We need, we need something to drink. We need to be hide. We need to keep hydrated. In fact, our bodies are made a lot, a, a big percentage of water. Now, Oshun is fresh water. And yes, my last, uh, one of my last videos on Eurasia's Legemia, yes, she does rule water. But in South Korea, now a distinction has been made. Yoruba, Ifa, South Korea. That Yamaya is the salt water and Oshun is the fresh waters. I'm sorry. So she deals with rivers. Oshun deals with rivers, lakes, streams, waterfalls, anything to do with the sweet waters. Her day in Santeria is known to be Saturday. I know some traditions hold it Friday, but what I know it is Saturday. Her number is five and multiple of fives. Her colors are yellow, gold, and amber, and sometimes an orange color, but it's in the yellow, gold, and amber. Oshun is one of the cool Orishas. So you have hot Orishas like Chongo, Osun, Ogun, and then you have cool Orishas like Oshun and Yemiya. Oh, here comes the old man. That's Shadow. So he's 17 years and 7 months old. Oshun is the giver of life, but she's also the taker of life. She, As she gives, she can take. As she brings forth life, she can bring forth death. Okay, so she, all because she's cool and she's sweet and she deals with love. Do not think for one moment she can't kick your ass. I had another statue that is totally destroyed. But it showed her in her warrior aspect. Oh, come on, Chong. Uh, Shadow, you're hogging up the spotlight. He wants to say hello to Osho. No, you can't have that. <laughs> He's sick. I want that too. Come on, silly boy. Oh, you're going to break my statue again. One of you guys broke her. So don't think for one minute that she's not a warrior. She does have some warrior aspect. And she can get 
pretty tumultuous. She does get spiteful. She does get revenge. She has aspects where she's a powerful spellcaster and a witch. And she, in one story, is when the people failed to please her and they were displeasing her. She caused the rains to cause massive deluges and floods. And only when the peace, she stopped before she killed life. Now, as you can see, she has some of the things that she loves. Her jewels, her mirror, her peacock fe feather fan made of peacock feathers, her yellow garb, a sunflower, and pumpkin. So some people say, oh, she's just a love goddess. Oh, she's just a Venus. She is so much more than that. And yes, her planetary power is Venus. So, her husband is Chang'o. She's the second wife of Chang'o, whom she is very much in love. And who she has spats with Oya, and definitely with the Oba. They, it is said in some, tradi in some traditions, Oya and Oshun do not get along. And especially o Oba and Oshun. And this has to do with Chang'o. Okay? So, she's the second wife of Chango, but she wants to always be number one in his life. So, and there's also a, a, a path of her where she was married to Rumila. There's also a, a path where she was with Ogun. But her true love is Chongo. But she has many paramars. She has many loves. And sometimes it, it, it lasts for a day. Sometimes it lasts for a long time. But she has many, many, many loves. She, she gets around. And she's very sure and proud of her sexuality. Oshun is said to give all her children when she gives birth to Yamaya. Because she knows Yamiya could do a better job. It's not that Oshun is bad. She's not. And she doesn't hate children. She loves them. Okay? She loves children. Oshun loves children. And she helps women become pregnant. She helps with fertility. She especially is partial to children with special needs. Especially the ones that cannot fend for themselves. Uh, Artists children that are autistic and especially those who have down syndrome or who have brain injuries so she's very partial to those she's also uh very s sympathetic to children in abuse abusive situations where they go hungry or where they're abused no mr loki Damn, I have to put them in the room. So, Oshun, her main date in Santeria, when they considered her birthday, is September 8th. However, in Africa, in Osho Oshogo, it, they have a festival for her in August, and it lasts for two weeks. In her sacred uh, place in Nigeria. So Oshun <sighs> other thing dates, I'm just trying to think. So But Oshun has been synchronized with our, our Lady of uh, Charity, Cob, uh, Carida de, de Cobre, 
or Lady of Charity. So some of her sacred places is definitely Oshogo, which has been, there's a temple there, a shrine, that people make pilgrimages from all over. That's uh, recognized by UNESCO, U-N-E-S-C-O. And she also, her sacred sites are, is the Nigeria's Oshun River. It's also, there's a shrine of Our Lady of Caridad del Colbre in Miami, Florida. There's also a shrine in Cuba that's very sacred to her. And uh, there's, a, there's a shrine to Car uh, Caridad del Colbre in Santiago, Cuba. She's also worshipped in uh, Brazil. So she has uh, sacred places there. In fact, a lot of places in the New World where people came and they saw a river, they dedicated that to Oshun. You know, they see a river or, you know. Oh, hi. Hi, beautiful. And here comes Lady Bust. So... Some of her stones that are sacred and metals that are sacred to her. Now, originally it was copper, and some people still hold it as copper. Okay, and she does accept copper. However, it has been replaced with gold because now gold is considered more uh, valuable. So gold, you can still give her copper, but she loves gold. brass she likes the metal brass now also her stones that you can use for her are amber she loves golden amber yellow topazes emerald some say emerald to people who give her emerald she likes it coral Fresh water pearls. Not seawater, but fresh water pearls. She's very partial to them, whether they're white or black. She loves fresh water pearls. And so... Oshun deals with not just love. She deals with all types of love. Romantic love, marriage loves, the wham bam mate, thank you ma'am, you know, the fucking duck kind type of love. All types of sex, sexuality. She deals with diplomacy and she can help you be more diplo diplomatic. So she's a very she's very much a diplomat. She also deals with having a good time and parties. She loves to dance. And she definitely loves to, to, to flirt, especially at the tambours. So you see some cards here, and I do want to give credit where credit is due. So I'm going to pull them out. So the first one, I'm going to show you. I can't do that. So, this one, which is very beautiful, belongs to the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot by Louis Martine, Martine and Sally Ann Glassman. I'm trying not to let the cards fall over. Uh, the second one I want to show you. Is the Goddess Oracle by Amy Sophia Marinshinsky and illustrated by Harana Janto Oshun. And this deals with sensuality, which she deals with. 
We also have this. This one. This is the Afro Brazilian ta Tarot by Lo uh, Scarabeo. You can all find them at Amazon. And this is by uh, Alice Santana. This is, they use her as the star. So, Oshun can help with getting pregnant, love, date, beauty, sexuality, parties, dance, diplomacy to lower blood pressure. She could be used for revenge and spite. Also, but help you with uh, making friends, popularity, happiness, contentment. To help with uh, disabled children. To help you get a job. Taking care of becoming a, whether a teacher or a power professional. Anything to do with the children. She helps with prostitutes. Yeah, she deals with that. Prostitution. Sex clubs. So. She also deals with oh my god these cats they're all here five of the six are here around here so she she is also good with come on she also is a healer it is said that she can heal with fresh water. She's a very powerful healer. And she can also be used for cleansing your home. She's helped people with that. To get rid of negativity from their home. Y'all going in the room. This ends now. So she, sorry about that. She deals with healing. She can help you when, during a breakup or a divorce. She can, she's also deals with divination. I, I shit you not, she deals with divination. And, and some people don't recognize that. Don't, don't, don't see that, but she is. And it's very true. True. And she can help you with divination. In fact, in fact, she is the 17th Odu, which is a completely indispensable to the process of divination. So... And and she is the owner of the the Irin Din Logun. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Irin Din Logun, which is sixteen cowrie shells. So this is a, a a type of form of divination that is different from Aruna's Ifa. but this and this is widely practiced by women, by women as well as men. So, yes, she is, uh, can help you with that. But she can now, she can help you with, like, pendulum, uh, tar tarot, oracle reading, oracle cards. So you can ask her for that help, and she can help you with that. So that's just something that's not discussed a lot, but 
but it is true. So Oshun loves, can help you with money. She can help you to gain power, prestige, money, to help you to get what money can buy, what you're looking for. And maybe a promotion, maybe that job. Oshun, as far as working, she'd rather party. She'd rather get her nails and done and her hair done. That's her. Oshun could be very, uh, she's very sensitive. And she, she's known to cry a lot. She's known to laugh a lot. She's known to dance a lot. But she can get very spiteful and very angry. And there's, she has two distinct laughs. <laughs> that type of laugh when you hear that. You know you're you're good. <laughs> That's the type of laugh you're fucked. So she has two main laughs. One that she's happy, one that you're fucked. She can curdle your blood. And let me tell you something. Even though she's a cool Arisha, when she is pissed, and when you pissed her off really bad, she can dog you to the le to the last breath of your life and into the next life. Okay? Her wrath can be worse than that than Yemiyaz or Oyas. She can be a uh, uh, spitfire. She will she will if she gets so mad she'll gladly cut your head off and spit down your bloody stump of a neck and then kick your head across the field and knock your ass into next year and then beat you with a two by four until she's done not until you learn a lesson but also until she's done until she's satisfied so yeah she can get pissed so Oshun is said that she is the youngest Arisha. She is, but she's, I know there's ch child, there's Arishas that, that have the form of child, like the Ibeji and, and the Legua, who's like seen as an eight year old boy who drinks and smokes and tells dirty jokes. However, but she is the youngest of the Arishas. But she, she is has she's so important and she's done some different important jobs that she's allowed her own color of which is yellow so is there some orishas or initiations have to share their colors she she she's she has her own color and her beads are always five yellow beads and five whites now depending on the tradition path her, her alekes are going to be a little bit different or striped different. But it's generally five yellow and five whites. Five yellow and five white. Five yellow and five white. Now, another thing about Oshun, sometimes the, the path or what she does or her energies has been confused with Jemaya. Okay, because there is an aspect of Oshun that lives in the sea. And she takes the form of a mermaid. But even though she wears yellow, she wears a sometimes wear a blue cape or a shawl around her. And her energy sometimes get confused with the Yamaya. But they make no mistake, they are both different. Now in Santeria, where I learned is that Oshun is Yamaya's younger sister, but Yamaya spoils her. And takes care of her. And sometimes they do have arguments. But they always get along. And they always love each other. And they always forgive each other. And Yemiya forgives her. Yemiya takes care of her children. Yemiya. Yemiya. Yeah. You, you don't go to Yemiya and say shit. 
talk smack about Oshun. And you don't go to Oshun and talk smack about Yamaya. It's not going to bode well for you. Okay? So, but in some traditions now, Oshun is actually the child of Yamaya. So in some religions, tradition religion she is the child of yamaya and yam and even as a child of yamaya yamaya spoils her you know if oshun asks asks for a, an inch yamaya will give her a mile same thing as a sister can i have an inch here's a mile can i have a dollar here's a hundred that seriously that's that's how oshun is and Oshun is also said to be the child of Obatala, or 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 it, it's sometimes even like she even she even gets spoiled by her her father, where she, depending on the path, though it, it's like she has different husbands or whatever. But all she has to do is. Give her, give him the little big eyes, the bat, big round eyes, bat a few eyelashes, and say, please, please. And if she doesn't get what she wants, she'll start crying. So either way, she'll get what she wants. So she learns a lot of mysteries. So she, her magic is very powerful. In fact, she's extremely powerful. And she is one of the seven African powers. And she is an extremely powerful one. And in fact, when she makes spells, <laughs> they're almost impossible, if at all possible, to break. So, she knows her way around things. She'll get her way. So, she's very pampered. She's very spoiled at times. But she's also... She can be very vain and capricious. No offense. I love you, Oshun. But she's like the popular girl, you know? And she's got a crown to prove it. And I always say that Oshun is so beautiful. Oshun is so beautiful, she doesn't need makeup or perfume. Oh, my God. If I was just as half as beautiful as Oshun. Mm. But Oshun, yes, just makeup and perfume always accentuates her beauty. Because she loves perfume and she loves makeup. So you can't go wrong with giving her some nail polish or something. However, Oshun is perfected beauty. She's perfect. You know? So her secondary color is white. Yellow, yellow and white. Yellow. You can you never go wrong with yellow and white. Yellow and white. Or just yellow. But also gold. And amber colors. So, oh, Oshun is her offerings. Okay, so offerings. Why do you want to do the pleaser? Honey, this is very important. Honey. As you can see, I gave her Manuka honey. I wanted to get the best for Oshun. Now here is, listen very carefully about the honey. It doesn't have to be Manuka. She, but Manuka is like really good. It's really sweet. And it also has a lot of healing qualities. And yes, I have used it in healing, in physical healing. I have used it on diabetic ulcers on people. I've used it on MRSA. I've used it on bad infections. But you don't give it to children, any honey, to like under a certain age, okay? Because they can suffer, they can get sick. They can get, they can get very, very sick. However, honey, in whether, no matter what, whether you're a Santera or Santero, anyone will tell you this, whether you're a child or not, whether the honey is closed and sealed, doesn't matter. You must taste the honey in front of her. When you call her, you must taste the honey. Whether you're making a special dish for her, you must say, call Shun and say, I'm tasting the honey. You must do it. 
she will either not accept it or she will hold you in suspicion or she can get pissed. And there's a story is that Ocean was very, there's a story where she was on earth and she was very beautiful. And this one woman was very jealous of Ocean's beauty. And also all the men were coming to Ocean and this one woman, she felt she was going to lose her, her mate. And she got angry and she po poisoned Oshun's gourd of honey. And Oshun nearly died. She got so sick, she nearly died. So now, ever since then, you must taste the honey. No way around it. Someone, in if you, if you don't like the honey, someone with you must taste it then. It must be tasted. some other offerings for her I got some strawberry champagne now types of honey don't get her honey with bee venom because bee venom poison I would not recommend any honey with bee venom and yes you can get it and it's sold at Whole Foods do not get her honey with bee venom also I would rec I will I would discourage you, really, cat, no, I would really discourage you from getting spicy honey. They do sell these little jars <clears throat> of honey with spice. Get that out of your mouth. What you eating? Dumbass. Do not get her any honey that has spices. I would not recommend it. She likes sweet honey. You can get our honey with honeycomb in it. Now, those who are initiated, who had, especially who are the children of Asi, who are, who are the children of Oshun, especially those who have taken the asiento, are not allowed to eat pumpkin. They have to give up. You have to give up pumpkin. Not kidding. No pumpkin seeds. No pumpkin. And sometimes they even give up total, any type of like the gourd, gourds. They give it up. Now, you can still worship it, Oshun and eat honey. I mean, eat uh, pumpkin. You can have pumpkin pie. You can have your pumpkin cake. You can have your pumpkin pancakes. But once you get initiated, you cannot eat it. Now, some people deliberately give up pumpkin and some people even give up all gourds to get all together they don't they don't need it because pumpkin is very uh is, is a delicacy to oshun she loves it so yeah and oshun can hold a grudge about that so let's talk about some offerings that you can give to oshun honey like i was i guess i got Destructive pumpkins, gourds. Give her oranges, melons. She does like melons, all yellow fruit. So like pineapple, bananas, yellow apples, yellow raisins, yellow grapes. She loves sweet potatoes. She loves yams and sweet potatoes. Wine. Champagne. Especially sweet wines. In some aspects, she likes beer. But don't give, you know, some people, give her a nice beer. Give her a fancy beer. She loves candies and chocolates and, and, and pastries. Red palm oil, coconuts, cowrie shells, cola nuts, perfumes, perfumes, makeup, mirrors, peacock feathers, fans, any, uh, any, uh, she loves chocolate. I feel like I said chocolate. <laughs> Honeycombs, honey cakes. There's also an omelet that she likes called Ochinchin, which is an omelet made with little tiny shrimps and finely diced onions and watercress. Oranges, lettuce, yellow rice, almonds, 
parsley, spinach, shellfish, cornmeal. So she, she really loves those offerings. She also, in some offerings, she likes scrum. Why not like uh, a honey, uh, rum with honey, I guess, or one could think about giving her like coconut rum. So guinea hens, quail, female goats and hens are acceptable to her. She also likes fresh water. Yellow sandalwood, incense, brushes, combs, barrettes, and anything to, you know, with the hair. Anything to do with feminine beauty, lotions, the stuff like that. Yellow flowers, yellow roses. Yellow and white roses together. But she does love flowers. Sunflower. She loves sunflowers. You can see she has a sunflower there. Silks. Gold. Amber. Jewels. Especially the ones that I, I, I mentioned. She loves cinnamon. She loves money and denomin coins and anything that's uh, like gold nuggets or anything that's worth anything. And she loves cinnamon sticks or round cinnamon. Coconut milk. So you can't go wrong with with uh, cinnamon cakes. Uh, lemon pie. Lemon meringue pie. You should, Mayo Shun likes that. She, she likes lemon cakes. Coconut candies. She likes to, uh, smooth river pebbles, so she likes those. Now, Oshun, one of the things that she is, she is a master chef. She is, she is, she is really good with the cooking. So, anyone who likes to do like food magic would uh, do good from her. So she, she does like incantations over food and, and spells over food too. Ah, so I have a thing about yellow rice. I mentioned yellow rice, right? Anything with pumpkins, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cake, pumpkin pancakes, all that. Sunflower seeds, she likes that. Did I mention watercress? I hope I did. Quail, venison, ducks, turtles, canaries. Not everything, not everything I mentioned is sacrificed to her. Something or just given to her as presents. So like peacocks and stuff. Now, Oshun's attributes, her honey pot. Now, figuratively and metaphorically, her, her, she is able, with honey, she can seduce. She puts honey in her lips, and that's how she caught Chang'o's attention. Chang'o. And 
she uses and also the honey pot also represents the her sexual fluids her sexual honey her, her vagina too so it represents sex her other attributes are our mirror combs canoes fans gold and brass bells it says that she wears five uh gold bracelets or sometimes she has her face veiled with beads like this sometimes she'll appear like that as she's she loves to look at a mirror and she she loves to spend time looking at herself and and fanning herself coral reefs are important to her Ashun also loves art. She's a she's she's a patron of artists, painters, people who draw art, people who make fine art, or whether it's sculptures or interior decorators. Those those are her people. She loves art. She also deals with the moon. When I said Venus, she also deals with the moon, especially the full moon. So let's talk about some of her herbs, her, bot her, her botanicals. And that would be, again, so I'm going to repeat some of these. Sunflower seeds. Anise. A good herb, Yerba Buena. Cinnamon. Verbena. Uh, there's also called uh, Herb of the Child. Or it's just Yerba de la Nina. Apples. Oranges. Roses. Especially yellow roses. Vanilla. Limo del Rio. She also likes parsley, marigolds, lantana, yellow squash, rosemary, pumpkin seeds. So, Oshun, in Brazil, I know she's associated, identified with Catherine of Alexandria, but in in Cuba, it's Corrida del, de Corrida del Cobre, or Lady of Charity. And, Osho, and, and Oshun's main it, famous shrine is, is in Oshogbo, Nigeria, which is, like I said, is designated... Uh, a UNESCO, a World Heritage Site. So, Oshun her candle colors that you want to use is yellow, gold. If you add white, use yellow and white or gold and white. You can also use amber color co co uh, candles. So, there, oh my God, get down! Clown, Loki, get down!
So ocean is a uh, Oh my God, why? So, Oshun has different aspects, uh, I should say different Caminos, more than just five, but some people say, oh, there's five, only five paths, no. That's not true, she has more roads than that. So if you if you look at like say Oshun Kole, so she disguised herself as a witch. And that was to save one of her lovers. And then later on she was accused of, oh yeah, she bewitched me. So Oshun Kole, she she's mistake she's she is mistaken for evil witch, but she's not. She like I said, she described she disguised one of herself. But she, this one is, she is extremely pampered and spoiled. And she's actually like, almost actually like, actually like a, a, a beauty queen, a teenage beauty queen, or pop, you know, one of the popular girls, the extreme popular girl. And she's accustomed to getting whatever she wants. And she does get upset very easily. And she can, she can fly from zero to 60. And any little thing will annoy her. So, and she can act indifferently to everyone and everything around her. So, but when she's in a good mood, you can get any, almost anything you want out of her. But when she's in a bad mood, she, when she's acting up, she will not pay attention to you. In fact, she's considered hard of hearing, but she pretends to be deaf. If she's like a cat. You can call it and it won't come. She can act like that. She's the prima donna here. And she... She's known for her sensual, sexual, sensual dances. She's very beautiful. And she loves to be the center, center of attention. And at this point, if she is in one of her moods, you can give her whatever you want. She's still not going to give it to you. If she's not in the mood. So they people to get her attention, they would uh, ring a golden or, or like a brass bell to get her attention. So under this path, Oshun Kole, her preferred color is like an orange pale yellow. Or like an off yellow. And if, if she really wants to confuse people, she'll dress in white. So this is a Yoshun who loves music and loves dancing, loves to get her nails done. You know, but she could be very stern and she's not hesitate to punish those. She's not, she does not hesitate. Her, in this, in this aspect, the, but the, the vulture, vultures are sacred to her. Be careful for getting uh, vulture feathers because in some places it is illegal to have them. And also they do carry clostridium bee. Which it which is the pathogen, the the my the uh, microbe that causes botulism. So you may want to be careful with that. So we also have Oshun Osorongo, and this is. This, this, she is, she is a witch and she does fly on the typical witch's broom. And sometimes she is said to even have red hair like a witch. And she, she, she's good at mixing potions and elixirs and she's great with, with herbs. And she can, she can, uh, do what she needs to protect her children. And she can scare the shit out of anyone. When she wants to. She is a true enchantress. But she's very beautiful. Has a very sexual body. And a beautiful face. She's, she's perfect. And she's. You, 
it's easy to fall in love with Osorongo. But she does, in spite of her beauty and her, her sensuality and her sexuality, she's very seldom be happy in love. But she's one of the most sought after when it comes to matters of romance and the heart. So just like give her a basket full of oranges with honey. Taste the honey first. Place it by the riverside. Should do the trick to get, you know, with the matters of the heart. So other paths of Oshun would also include you get like Kai Ode. She was said to be the most beautiful of the Oshuns, the roads to live on the road of Oshun. To live on earth and she had many 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 paramars but somehow was not able to keep them for a very long time so they 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 only came for what she looked like not for what was in her mind and in her heart and it, it says that her laughter is a one filled with sadness too because of all she's sometimes afraid to love because she's afraid to be hurt again and again and again. So this is the one where she is the giver. Because when she married, she met a powerful king named Chang'o. And he took her in and, 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 and made her very rich and pampered her in any way he could. However, she took this money and the gold and she gave it to the poor. And she would feed them and care for them, especially for children. So her her son, Santeras and Santeras are, are, are known to be the giver. In the house of, of Osha, she's known to be the giver. Because she gives and gives and gives and gives. This is the Oshun that loves chicken soup. With onions and purslane and cinnamon sticks in it, you you can't go wrong with that. But she's she's she has a very good heart, and she is very she is a very kind and giving soul. So other paths of Oshun, her roads, which would include uh, there's. Funke, and she is the teacher of making out, love making, sex, and she and this is this is the aspect. I mean, she loves. I forgot to mention apple cider, but she loves apple cider. She loves champagne and beer and palm wine. She's a great diviner, and she was romantically involved with Orumila. Please don't destroy my altar. Whom she stole many secrets from, by the way. So, you can, she, she's good with the opele, which is Arun Mila's, you know, the chain divination that a Babalao will use? Yeah, she knows how to use it. And she loves offerings, black-eyed pea fritters with Without salt, no salt, but topped with honey. She loves that. So other things would be I'm trying to think of her other. There is uh. Oh, I'm trying to think of that that name. I almost said something that's about the laws. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have wrote it down, but I didn't. So there's also Niwe. 
and she's that's the one that's the one i uh, i'm thinking about oshun niwe and this is where she's found mainly in in forest and bush country and this is uh she shares her not she shares such knowledge with Osain and Shango. She knows how to curse with herbs and how to heal with herbs. So she knows how to heal and she knows how to kill. So when a woman wants to have a child, wants to get pregnant, she'll go to a nearby forest and bring five pumpkins filled with honey. And five different types of perfumes and five yards of yellow cloth. And you want to ring a, a goat like a brass bell and call her. At least with five different chants. And she can help a woman get, gain uh, a baby. What is it, baby? Your ears are bothering you again. I gotta clean them out. So other like there's the Ibu Yumu, which is both identified with the uh, warrior and a gold coin. She this is where she she said to where the the river meets the sea in this aspect and this in this Camino, she's deaf and old and she spends her time knitting fishing nets at the bottom of the river she is this is one of her most wealthiest aspects and she only lives to she leaves her river to stand next to a goon to in war or to dig graves in cemeteries So yeah, she deals with the dead in this aspect. So there's also Ibu Oshun, Ibu Anya, and she deals with the swamps and marshy waters. And she's a very powerful, extremely powerful witch. And she also owns the Bata drums. The Bata drums. So she lives in the marshes and swamps. So that's where you will find her. So you have Oshunawe, who is very closely related to the spirits, the dead, with whom she works with. And she's not the, com she's, she's the polar opposite of the completely happy Orisha. In this path, she's full of sorrow of the grave. And her clothes are filthy, dingy, and dirty, and unkept. She's unkept. Which mostly... In every in a lot of the aspects, she she's very clean. She's very kept. I mean, every hair has it's in its place. This aspect, not it's like the polar opposite. And if you have Oshuna Day in this aspect, she's she's in this world. She's the elegant woman, the grand dame. She loves to attend parties, social functions. Uh, musical soirees and she's identified with the perfect wife and a perfect hostess and she's a socialite mm. Oshuna Day she's a big socialite she's like she's she's Miss Popular she's the beauty queen So those are, are, are just some of her aspects. So what else do I want to talk about Oshun? So Oshun is very is very important to creation. After the creator created all things, he said that humanity needs happiness and beauty. And that's where Oshun comes in. So Oshun was made for that. 
Oshun owns the lower part of a woman's abdomen, but also said to like, and a man's entire stomach. So a woman, the, the, okay, Oshun deals with the uterus, the fallopian tubes, the sex, her, her, uh, her sexual organs, but a man's entire stomach. Now it said that she likes her likes the people when they offer a feast to her to at least be, you know, look nice. When you when you hold like a tambour to look nice and you know. Now Oshun is very popular very famous and as she does she deserves she's well known among the Orishas. oh hi loki no i don't feel like gluing it together again Now, so I want to talk about Oshun because I've already been talking about her. Her sacred birds, of course, the, the, the parrot, the vultures, and the peacock. Stop! It's bothering me. So anyways, there was a, there are many stories about her and that you can do some research about it. She does deal with the Oshun River in Nigeria. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video there was some stories i wanted to talk about her but you know it's getting a little crazy here and i'm already talking about an hour and two minutes so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you don't like this video give me a thumbs down uh please subscribe so you never miss it feel free to share this video on your facebook or auto social media handles and since I don't have a Patreon account, please think about the money that you are going to send to me and send it to Make-A-Wish Foundation. And also the St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital, where they help children with cancer. Or do any, or, or give to like any foundations that help children with autism or Down syndrome. So uh, please think about that. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. There were so many stories I wanted to tell you. And I'm so sorry I got distracted with the cats doing terrible things. <laughs> but thank you very much. I appreciate you all. And I did get a negative comment on one of my uh, videos that was really nasty. It wasn't just a negative. It was really nasty. And I blocked the person. So if you're... I don't mind comments, constructive criticism, and stuff like that. But when you get nasty, I will block you. So, however, I do appreciate all the comments... Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing my video. I, I, I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. And as always, blessed be.